My name is James Hurley. I drive with James Jag Williams. I transport hazardous chemicals and truck and trailers. I've been driving uh, around four years total. I've been with this company for three years. Yeah, I like it here a lot. I think it's the best job I've ever had. Uh, everybody's easy to get along with here. We seem to work well here as a, as a team. Uh, home usually every night. Uh, for me, I have a dedicated route, so uh, staying out overnight is not an issue. Uh, I could get home at the end of the day and, and see my wife and kids as opposed to other jobs. It's, it's not the case. Reality truck driving is uh, usually breaking in. You're taking a job that's going to take you out over the road. And, you know, uh, a lot of people can't realize that, uh, how hard it is to be away from your family until you're actually there. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one thing about trucking. It's, it's not hard work. Uh, physically, it's not demanding at all. Uh, mentally, it's stressful. And uh, depending on the kind of trucking you're doing, it can be very strenuous on your home life. But uh, it's the easiest job I've ever had and best paying job I've ever had, so I'm not complaining. Well, if I had any advice for somebody that was going to get into trucking, I, I guess it'd have to be if their heart would be into it. Uh, it's not what they make it out to seem to be in a country song or a movie, you know, it's a, it's a different reality when you get into it. So doesn't always work out for everybody, but it, it does for some. You know, you might be sitting in one spot, but you're still traveling from place to place. You know, if you love to drive, it's definitely a job for you. Uh, it's probably just the best part about it. You know, if, if you love to drive, it's the best job to have. Well, the certifications and licensing you need in order to be a truck driver is first, you have to go through trucking school and get your CDL. Uh, you have to get all your endorsements, air brakes, uh, all that jazz. Uh, if you want to get into tankers, you'll need to get your hazmat. You'll need to get your TWIC to, for access in and out of the ports. Uh, if you're going to be hauling doubles, you'll need your doubles or triples endorsements. Uh, a lot of just little steps to get there, but they're all relatively simple. Safety plays a big factor in this job. Uh, mistakes and dealing with hazardous chemicals can be very unforgiving. and. It's important, uh, I believe everybody wants to go home the same way they left for work in the morning, so you know, utilize the safety equipment that you've been issued, and if you have any concerns, and you know, take that up with the appropriate personnel. Contact dispatch or you know, a company operator and, and figure out what's going on, and definitely uh, don't take any chances. Uh, the equipment for JJ Williams is uh, it's great. Actually, uh, they've just re-updated most of their trucks in the last two years, uh, getting new tankers in every year. Uh, it's updating and, and moving forward, and new equipment runs good, and any issues is taken care of promptly. The work culture here is comfortable, uh, from upper management all the way down to, well, running the trucks. You know, uh, everybody's seen as uh, equals. Everybody's talked to at eye level and uh, not just treat it as a number, so. Well, for me, when I'm at home, I'm typically working anyway. I've got busy, plenty of things to do around the house, and so it's just kind of an everyday thing for me. Uh, as far as uh, coming home in the evenings and spending quality time with the kids, and you know, I think that's the most important time, is even if it's, it's not a whole lot of time you have, it's the, the quality in which you use it. Mm -hmm.